All right, we are leaving Craig, Colorado, and driving towards Steamboat Springs. So this Walmart head north toward West Victory Way allows overnight parking. Take the next right onto West Victory Way. But it's 93 degrees outside, and it's only 440. Like I can't run the generator for the next four hours. Continue on West Victory Way for three quarters of a mile. And I don't want to stop yet. Um, so the bad news is there's a couple campgrounds by Steamboat Springs. I just can't imagine they have any availability. Um, there's not a lot of camping along that road, Highway 40. I don't know why. I don't understand it. But um, I'm just going to see what I can find, I guess. I don't know what else to do. And if I have to stop in Walden, maybe I'll go to that ranger station again and sleep. That was nice. And I, I could probably get there in about two and a half hours. I just have to get out of this heat. If I could get a campground around Steamboat Springs, I, I would think about it. I just can't imagine it's Friday night, you know, that I, they'd have any availability. Not the street. Use any lane to turn right onto Pershing Street. This one. Continue for three quarters of a mile. Wow, this is interesting. I like how they have the barricades and the people have their fences up. So yeah, I think um, there's definitely more places to stay along the interstate, so I will definitely take that going home. I forgot, I guess, on some of these back roads, and this is a major highway, but there's just not a lot of stuff. Maybe I could find a forest service road that has a turnout at, off the highway and just park there. I don't know. I imagine there's going to be a lot of people just parking where they can with it being, you know, so many people out. A lot of people like me just passing through. Yeah, it says it's 95. So we were there for probably 15, 20 minutes. It was starting to get hot. Oh, please let me make this light. Thank you. Oh, so we avoided going through downtown. Kind of wanted to see what it looks like. It's a big town, Craig. It's hot though here in the summer. 1,000 feet. Flight left on the US 40 East. So once I start going uphill, I'm gonna definitely have to turn the AC off. So I hope it. left onto US 40 East. Then turn right onto US 40 East. I hope it cools down fast. That's the other thing. Um, I, the sun is behind me, and I want to do this drive with the sun behind me. If I stayed here tomorrow morning, I'd be driving into the sun. Turn right onto US 40 East, East Victory Way. And this is going to be one of the better drives of the trip. Continue on US 40 East for 66 miles. I knew this road, I remember how hard it was last time finding a spot, but I guess I, with, I thought with all my apps, you know, that I could find a, um, a spot. So if there are spots, people are keeping them secret, you know, not reporting them anymore. But we'll see what I find. Oh, it's really pretty too right now with the um, thunderstorm clouds. There's no way I could sit in a Walmart parking lot for the next six hours before I go to bed. This is like prime driving time. So I have 
had my PB&J, took a re uh, restroom break. Zoe had some kibbles. She wanted to go in the bedroom. And I kept telling her, no, she tried like two or three times. So Steamboat Springs is only at 43 miles.
Front Range. So I don't know how many people from Denver, the Denver Metro, are, can drive there on a weekend trip. Um, or if it's just tourists staying there. And if it's a tourist, it's probably still busy though. got a straight answer as to whether that damages the charging system if you have the power on when you're driving 
because I don't really know if it's made to do that. So I don't know if it matters.
doesn't let you RVs park in the um, ski lot in the summer? Maybe they do. I mean, maybe I need to check that out. Because you would think that would be a perfect place. You know, their ski lots are usually giant. They're gravel. here in this downtown in the back. 
back so bad she was like are we done can we stop she wanted to go sleep in the cupboards above the bed 